In this video, I'll show you how to create customized learning plans for your students. Using the results of the placement test, your students' goals and needs, and your favorite lessons, you can create a learning plan for a student that is targeted very specifically to the weaknesses in English that your students have. Here's how to set it up. Let's talk about customizing learning plans. Part of this conversation also includes why we might want to customize a learning plan. Well, there's a couple reasons for this. Let's look at my student Ryan and let's open up his placement test results. Now, I can see that Ryan has a very high level of grammar. In fact, he missed very few questions on his placement test. So these are the lessons. These are the questions that he got wrong on the placement test. The recommended lessons that will fix these mistakes are automatically added to his learning plan. So to customize his learning plan, let's go back to Ryan. I can see that he's only done the placement test. I haven't enrolled him in any lessons. I will now click on his learning plan. This is in its standard state. The learning plan begins as simply the collection of recommended lessons. So there are a few reasons why we might want to customize this. The first reason is that I can see that Ryan is an advanced level. However, he also made two mistakes on singular plural of regular nouns. It is not likely for a student with an advanced level that he will need two entire lessons devoted to fixing what is an elementary mistake. Chances are good that with just a few minutes of coaching and drilling, I can help him fix these mistakes without doing the entire N6.1 and N9.1 lessons. So the first thing I might want to do is remove those lessons from, the, from his learning plan. So I'll click on Customize Learning Plan. And now I can click the minus button to remove this lesson from the learning plan. So now I've subtracted two lessons from his learning plan. Now I might want to add some lessons to his learning plan. So let's look at what I see. Well, first of all, I can see that he's made a mistake on articles, and I have two lessons with articles. Well, in speaking with my student, I realize that he might need a refresher on more than just articles with geography, which are the mistakes that he made. He might need a refresher on all of his articles. So let's add those to his learning plan. By default, the only lessons I can add are from the lessons that come from his level. So the recommended lessons are going to be the ones that are at the advanced C1 level. But if I want to add more lower level lessons, I need to click on all lessons. So I'll click on all lessons and I can just search. If I type articles, I now can see all of the article lessons. So I want to add all of them. Every time I add a lesson, it glows orange as I add it. So it's added to the top and it becomes orange. So now I have six lessons on articles, but I might want to change the order. So let's move them. So let's first of all sort them. Article lesson one, two, three, four. I need to add five. and pull it down. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven article lessons. However, they're all in a row at the beginning of the learning plan. I probably, for the sake of variety, don't want to begin my English course by teaching him seven lessons in a row with articles. It probably will frustrate him and not make him feel like he's making progress. So. I'm going to put lessons between all of the article lessons to add some variety.
However, I still don't have enough lessons. And furthermore, all of these lessons are grammar related. There are no speaking activities. There are no convert. There's no conversation. There's no nothing. So I might want to add in a lot of other different types of lessons for the sake of variety and interest. So I'm going to add in an advanced speaking activity, consumerism. This is a very interesting lesson. It's at an advanced level and it's a speaking lesson. I happen to know that this lesson is in the library. However, if I don't remember what lessons I want, I can just go to another tab where my lesson library is, filter by advanced, and here are all my speaking activities. So let's add some speaking activities. How about the immigration level? Let's go back and I'll just type in immigration and I'll add that one. Let's choose another one. How about urban and social issues? Sounds great. So now we're going to add this. And once again, we can change the order. So let's start our course with consumerism. Then we'll do an article lesson. And then we'll do present continuous. And then we'll slot immigration in after that. And then here, I'll just go ahead and move these all around. And I can get these in an order that works for me and works with my student. It will give variety. It will add enough of what my student really needs, enough of what my student really wants, along with the lessons that I just enjoy teaching as a teacher. I can do this as much as I want. There's no limit to how long or short it needs to be. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've got 16 lessons. This represents about 16 hours of class time. I can design a 20-hour course, a 50-hour course, even a 100-hour course, just depending on my students' needs and level of commitment. Once I click the back button, my learning plan is saved. And I can launch my lessons one at a time from here just by clicking on this learning plan tab. And once I complete them, they'll be marked green. I can also mark them as incomplete. So in this way, you can use your students' placement test results and the rest of the lessons from the lesson library to design a completely customized, one-of-a-kind learning plan that will meet exactly the needs of your student.